Most people get confused by this, but don't. All you have to do is just multiply the outside numbers together and keep them outside, and multiply the inside numbers and keep them inside. So multiplying the outside numbers, this is minus 2 times 5, which is going to be minus 10. Then we're going to have the numbers inside the root. Now what you can do one way is to just multiply the two numbers. 7 times 7, this is equal to 49. We know that the square root of 49 is 7, and so this is going to be minus 10 times 7, which is minus 70. The other way is just to recognize that this number and this number is the same. And whenever you're squaring a square root, and you've got the same number underneath the root sign, then it's just going to equal whatever's underneath the root sign. Which just basically means that you could have just skipped this step and go straight to the next step. Now if you don't want to be confused in algebra and finally get it, then this book is for you. Everything here is written in plain English, then you've got all these examples that you can follow through that gives you the step-by-step -step breakdown to the answer, and then at the end, you've got practice questions that you can go through to make sure that you learn how to multiply certs.